Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a Chrome delete or trim delete on your Rivian R1S. So that tutorial is coming up. So first thing you want to do is put your car in kneel mode if it's not already. So that's the lowest mode of the car. That way it's easier to just stand there and kind of work on the trim. I would recommend also getting a step ladder because you're going to need it, but it just makes it a little bit easier. So here's how you get in the kneel mode or set it up. So when you're in park, it automatically drops. So this is the EV Sportline Chrome Delete kit. It actually has, it comes with two right off the bat. And so as you can see front, uh, passenger front driver so makes it really easy to figure out which one is which so i wouldn't recommend washing the car first because water and vinyl don't work well together but if you want to do that you can i usually just dust so dust the chrome delete the, the trim dust the paint dust the you know windshield everything around there that way there's no dust that can get stuck on the vinyl because if that happens you see these little dimples and they look bad so use your alcohol wipe and you know uh, clean the trim and then start peeling away. So glad they have two because the first one wasn't cut right and I end up tearing it. So I had to use a second one, but be careful when you tear it off. Obviously don't let it touch the ground and things like that. Uh, so peel it off. And then what you want to do first is just stick it on, you know, kind of in sort of place, but not really that way. It just doesn't flop around and pick up dirt. So for this piece, line up the bottom right with the paint. And what I did is line it up with the window on the left side, just inside the window, and then work your way up. So the other side of the trim is really big. And so this is the easiest way to do it is on this left side. So go ahead and line it up and you see the film there too. So you wanna kind of start that if you can later. And I would highly recommend for the this one to open your lift gate as well, makes it easier. So go ahead and work your way all the way across. Once you get to the, the after the curve, then you wanna line it up with the top. So line it up with the top paint and then go across. And if you notice, sometimes uh, the trim isn't quite long enough. So you see there's a little gap there. So these, these vinyls, the vinyl's not long enough. The vinyls are actually flexible and stretchable. So if you just pull it back and stretch it a little bit, you can make it work. So don't worry about that. So see, fixed. Once you've got it all down and see how it's lined up on the top on this top piece, then what you want to do is start folding in with your little squeegee tool thing. So go ahead and start with the whichever side you want actually left or right and bottom put those in. And what you want to do is you want to start from the middle and then push down across the uh, curve that way you don't get creases when you put it in. So I do have a clip of that coming up, but yeah, just work it slowly one, you know, piece by piece. Cause you, and you want to work it from down to up that way you don't cause creases. So this is what I was talking about. Start from the flat part and then hit the turn and tuck it in that way you don't get creases. Then what we want to do is work this corner curve. You want to do each one of these pieces individually. So for this side, you want to start on the right and go to the left. So this is where opening the lift gate would be a lot easier too. So I have a clip of that. So now you can actually see the trim and there's no issues trying to fold it in. So not perfect, but I don't care because nobody can see that. So go ahead and keep doing that right to left and do each one of these tabs individually or else they're gonna crease and it's just not gonna look nice. So slowly work that and then you wanna work the top. So same thing from the middle and then tuck it in and push down. So you can use the bigger tool that they gave you if you want for the longer pieces, it makes it a little bit faster. Then we wanna work on the front. So you wanna line up that cross right at the end of the trim and then work your way around. So for this one, you wanna go from the top, just line it up with the top paint and go across. So once you've done that, and it's all lined up, then basically time to start folding. So this on this piece, the trim on the bottom is really big. So that's why you wanna line it up with the top. So 
folded in on the top. And this piece was so big, I just used my thumb, didn't even need a squeegee. And start the trim, start the film, taking the film off before you put it all the way down or it's gonna be really hard to get off. So there you go, taking off the film after we're done. And then the window piece is the easiest piece. So if you wanna do that one first, you can uh, to work your way up. And so basically same thing, the cross goes right in the corner of the trim and then you wanna line up with the top of the paint and then just go across. So I just, you know, little tension, use my finger, lined it up, and then basically went all the way across, tucked it in, and then took the film off and you're done. So here's the finished product. Looks much better chrome deleted than with the chrome. And so that's how you do it. So hope this tutorial is helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.